quick. Graph y equals the cube root of the quantity 1 half times x by hand two different ways. It is highly recommended that you watch the video how to graph y equals f of the quantity k times x before watching this video. You will need graph paper or download this PDF and print it. Press pause as needed any time during this video. The first way is with what we call the cube root dance. Normally we start at the origin and with the coefficient of x being one half inside the radical, this does not affect the point because when x is zero, y is also equal to zero and points are going to be plotted relative to the origin. Recall that the coefficient k equals one half is inversely proportional to the horizontal dilation factor. That is, we're going to multiply each x value by the reciprocal of a half, which is the number 2. Normally, the cube root dance is right 1 up 1, but for ours, it's going to be right 2 up 1. 2 times the x coordinate 1 is 2. The y coordinate remains unaffected. So plot 2 comma 1. Next in the dance, right 8 up 2. But for us, it'll be right 16 up 2, because 2 times 8 is 16. That is going to be off the grid here. All right, so see if you can get 2 to the left of the origin here. Uh, press pause as needed and resume when you're ready. So left 1, down 1 is a normal cube root dance. We're going to go left 2, down 1. 2 times 1 is 2. Plot 2, negative 2, comma 1, negative 1. Left 8 down 2 is going to be left 16 down 2. And it looks like we have a little bit of room to put that here on this, even though it's off my grid. So connecting the points, we're getting this cube root looking graph. And we'll compare it to the parent function. And you can see that from... Um, blue to green. Green is a horizontal stretch of the parent function. Second way using a table. This is our normal cube root table. And since k equals a half inside the radical, the horizontal dilation factor is the reciprocal of a half, which is 2. We keep the y coordinates the same, and we multiply each x coordinate by the reciprocal of k, which in this case is 2. So 8 times 2 is 16. We'll plot 16 comma 2. 1 times 2 is 2, 2 comma 1. The origin is not changed at all by that factor of 2. Go ahead and finish the last two points. Press pause and resume when you're ready. So we're going to get negative 2 comma negative 1 and negative 16 comma negative 2, which turns up over here a little bit off my grid. Connect the points and then comparing it to the parent function uh, from blue to green, it is a horizontal stretch. Now you try one. Graph y equals the cube root of the quantity one third x. Use either method or both for the practice. Press pause to do this and resume when you're finished to check your answer. And here is your answer. Greenman is a horizontal stretch of the blue parent function.